What is up guys? My name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog today. We're doing speed runs with the Fortec after putting the brushless system in. So it's got a VXL now, but it's a two pole VXL. And the very first run I'm gonna do is gonna be with the stock gearing. So we know what speeds we did with the stock gearing. I think it was like 23 or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'll roll that old video footage. And get off in 23 again. 23. Let me try it, though. Here, let's see. If I, I try it, it, maybe Dad can get a 20. That's three 23s in a row, guys. And we're going to go see how fast it does with the exact same battery, gearing, just brushless. And then after that, we're going to try to go fast with a three cell. And then I got a body getting ready to be uh, painted because this body's not going to be very aerodynamic. And we'll be able to do some really, really fast speed runs, change out gearing, and try to hit 80. So let's see how we do. Thanks, guys. Be right back. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That's actually kind of here. You want to drive for a second, Evan? Here. Go ahead. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll shoot here. Twenty-four, guys. That means it's it's the exact same speed as the brush system, which is freaking nuts. So we'll see. I mean, obviously it should be able to handle more power, but it looks like the revolutions are the same. I think we did 23 with the non-broken in motor. Jeez, Ethan's car is loud. Non-broken in brush XL5, and we did 24 with a brushless same gearing. So I'm gonna put three cell in and see what we do. Thirty-six. I think that's all we're doing, guys. Thirty-six stock stock uh, stock gearing VXL two two pole. Not that impressive. And that's with a three cell. So we're gonna have to really ramp up our gearing. But I'm gonna run these batteries down, and then we'll come back and ramp up gearing and see how fast we can go. Be right back, guys. Alright, it's been a couple of days later. I started looking at some of the video clips that I recorded of us doing those speed runs and I saw that it was pretty dark. You couldn't see much. So, I decided to wait a couple of days, but that also gave me a couple of days to finish this body. I painted it super duper fluorescent orange because, not because I really like fluorescent orange and not that I don't like fluorescent orange, I'm dogging it, but it's easier to see. So, I went with a super fluorescent color, a solid color because this body's probably going to just get beat to crap here in a second. But the gearing I switched to was 3555, so 55 tooth spur, 35 tooth pinion. And that's the, the highest or slowest, not slowest, but fastest, lowest, I don't know. Fastest gear ratio that the Traxxas Fortech manual said that Traxxas makes. So anything past this, I'm going to have to go Robinson Racing or something aftermarket to get some crazy gear ratios. But big thanks to Larry Todd. Larry Todd's a good friend of mine. He hooked me up on this body. I needed a body with uh, better aerodynamics, which this is the Mazda 6 uh, Protoform Proline body. This is what we used to run a touring car because it was so planted, but it's going to get way better, uh, better, better, better aerodynamics than this car. Go ahead. Cue the Mustang jokes. Anyways, I'm missing my words. I'm slurring my words. I have pre-coffee, guys. I just woke up, but I got a lot to do today, but I want to do the speed run before I take off, so... Let's lower our goal. After seeing what it was gonna do with the stock, after seeing what it did with the stock gearing, I'm a little, I'm a little pessimistic that it's gonna hit 80. I, I think we're gonna be right around the 65 range, maybe 70, but it's gonna be really hard to keep it on the ground. So let's set our goal for 65 today, and let's see how we do. We need a moment of silence for this brand new body.
there you have it guys 61 miles an hour that's about what we can get with the uh stock brushless system I, actually I, I think i might be able to get a little bit more i felt like there was a little bit of drag i think the tires were hitting the body but we'll see i'm out in the middle of the field at my mom's farm mom and dad's farm because i'm trying to look for the one spot where there's no wind there's probably still wind but thanks for watching guys like subscribe and i will see you next or you'll see me next time almost guys i'm close close